What is going on? My name is Abu, a developer and instructor for this JavaScript fundamental series. And I'm really, really excited to teach you the fundamentals of JavaScript. JavaScript is a great first programming language to learn. It's fun, easy to learn, and you can use it in any web browser, which means that you can get up and running, create your own website, get an instant feedback right away just with your browser. JavaScript started live as a simple scripting language intended to add engaging interactive features to any web page. However, JavaScript has grown into a powerful general purpose programming language that is used on nearly every website in the world and in all phases of development, from making software to hardware. And this made JavaScript one of the most in-demand developer skills. So it's a great time to be learning JavaScript. Let's see some of the places where we can find JavaScript first, and then I'll show you a simple and interesting programming example using JavaScript. You can use JavaScript to add fun and useful features to web pages. The most common place you'll find JavaScript is on the web, where it's used to create everything from engaging photo and video galleries to complex animated experiences. With JavaScript, you can create a better user experience by adding an interactive, cool, and fun features to your web pages. You can even make games with the power of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can use JavaScript not only for just adding visual effects to a website, but also for adding useful functionality to a website. For example, web applications like Google Maps depends on JavaScript and use it to create some useful functionality that can make the users interact with the map, such as searching for a certain location, calculating the distance between different locations, zooming in, zooming out, and more. Email applications like Gmail, Yahoo also depend on JavaScript and use it to add useful functionality, such as creating an email messages with a rich text editor, attaching a document, and sending email messages to other email users. And also, all these beautiful and interactive charts that we are seeing on the web are also done with JavaScript as well. One of the best part about getting started with JavaScript is that because it's implemented in a web browser, you don't need any additional tools or setup to get going. Let me show you an interesting programming example using JavaScript. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below, unzip it and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called Y underscore JavaScript. And then select the demo.js file. Don't worry about what any of the code in this file means right now. You'll learn more about what each part of this code does and have a chance to do lots of programming with JavaScript throughout the course. This is a JavaScript file containing a short program that asks the user several questions, such as what is your name, how old are you, where are you from. Then it replaces all the content on a web page user is currently on with the user's answers as a headline text. A quick and easy way to run JavaScript is in the web browser's developer tools called JavaScript Console. One way to open the console is with the keyboard shortcut, Command Option J on a Mac or Control Shift J on Windows. We are going to use the console all throughout the course to run and test JavaScript codes, identify and fix errors, as well as display messages from within our program. The console lets you interact with the web page you are currently on. So I can try this script on just about any website by pasting this code into the console. For instance, I'll run this script here on this Wikipedia's homepage, just for fun. I'll copy all the codes from my file. And paste it into the console. Then press Enter. As you can see, a dialog box pop up and says, what is your name? I'll answer Abu. Click OK. Then the second dialog box pop up and says, how old are you? I'll answer with 36. Click OK. Then the third dialog box pop up and says, where are you from? I'll answer with Finland. Click OK. Now everything on the page disappears. The web page's all contents are replaced by the headline text containing my answers. And notice this is only temporary. When I refresh the page, 
everything comes back. Awesome. That is another advantage of learning JavaScript as your first programming language. You can get instant feedback in the browser with only a several lines of JavaScript codes. JavaScript isn't just limited to the browser. You can also use JavaScript outside of the browser, even on web servers. For example, Node.js is a popular choice for writing JavaScript that runs on the server. Node.js offers great performance and easily handles lots of tasks simultaneously. It's a favorite of big companies like eBay, Walmart and Uber who use Node.js to serve up their websites. There are even complete desktop applications written in JavaScript. All of these desktop applications are all written with a popular JavaScript framework called Electron. You'll learn a whole lot more about Node.js and Electron in later courses and you'll be able to build your own web applications and desktop applications. But the fundamentals you are going to learn in this course will provide the foundations for building complex user interfaces and web applications that's usable by everyone on just about any device. And with just the basics, you can start using JavaScript to make your website more interactive and dynamic by adding fun and useful functionalities.